Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Bidbeard. So, today is not going to be a review, but more or less an opinion piece, and uh, yeah, not well, more like a thought provoking piece. So, to drink or to sell. Now, once once in a while, every every squirrel finds its nut, finds a nut, or every dog gets his bone, or whatever you want to say. Uh, but there's things in life that will make you question your ideals, your not necessarily morals, but I have a, a very staunch point of view against the secondary market and reselling bourbon. Well, from time to time, <laughs> since I do have uh, a, a bit of a hookup, something will show up that will make me question that, <laughs> make me question it all together. And today is that day. This, if I can get it into view, is Colonel Taylor Warehouse C. Now, I didn't know anything special about it until I just looked it up. I walked in and uh, the little girl let me go in the back. Let me go in the back and, and look at everything. And we rolled around to one little area and saw that and I'm like, what is that? That's a lemon jenny pedigree. going. And uh, so I purchased it. And it was $85. Not a bad price for something that's highly allocated. Uh, great price. Uh, but I get home. And I start looking into it. And I want to say the average secondary market price I saw for it was about $4,000. four thousand dollars i think the lowest price i saw for it was like thirty four hundred or thirty five hundred dollars so to drink or to sell uh is the title of this video and i really want to drink it but at the same time i understand its value and what I could do with the money that I could sell it for. And I wouldn't try to sell it for 3500 I would make somebody a hell of a deal. I mean, I would still probably make at least tenfold of what I paid for it. But I wouldn't try to get $5,000 for it, $3,000 for it. That's just ridiculous. Now, there's also the other hand of just sitting on it. Now... You sit on it too long, this this bourbon bubble that's going on right now, it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually people are just gonna get tired of paying the secondary prices, paying the ridiculous amounts of money for these whiskeys, and it's just gonna crash one day. Maybe, maybe not. But you could sit on something long enough once that trend goes away, then you just got a really old bottle of whiskey that ain't worth much. So I'm in a bit of a, a dilemma right now in my mind and my my ideals. And I'll probably just sit on it for a little while, just put it in the closet and forget about it and uh, see what happens. Yeah, that's it's probably the most single. It's probably the single most valuable bottle that I've purchased. Not that I've seen. Uh, like my friend, he uh, his grandparents had a liquor cabinet, and he uh, he's found some old and dusties, some uh, some Stitzel Weller. Uh, antique weller from Stitzel Weller uh, 
He's found uh, Eagle Rare 10 Rare, 10 year, 10 Rare, Eagle Rare 10 that was in the original, I want to say they were made by Seagram's or somebody. I think they were made by Seagram's back in the day. These are, these are bottles from the 1980s, probably mid, early to mid 80s. Um, he also found, <laughs> he cried about this when he told me about it, he found a Pappy Van Winkle bag, and I think it was the 20, 20 year or something, 23 year, whatever, found one of the bags, but never found the bottle. So his, his granddad was definitely a Pappy man. <laughs> Got into that one. But yeah, uh, so that's that's where I'm at. And this is, uh, this is just me going through my thought process. Odds are, I'm gonna drink it. I probably won't sell it, but you never know. Somebody might see this video and people just offer me a stupid amount of money and I'd be ignorant not to take it. But I'm not gonna put it on any marketplace or anything like that. I'm just gonna sit on it and uh, we'll see what happens. So, with that said, <laughs> oh man. Yep. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to check the description below for all the ways to help out with the bills around the house. Like the video. Describe. Uh, subscribe. Describe. Subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends. Comment below. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I'm not going to take, I'm not really going to go off anybody's opinion, but I'd like to see what everybody else thinks. Would you legitimately, if you had this bottle in your possession, would you... Go ahead and crack it open. Would you sit on it or would you sell it immediately? If you knew you could get $3,000 for it, pretty easy. Comment below, let me know what you'd do. But that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Like always, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family. Be safe, don't drink and drive. Take care. We'll see you next time. Cheers.